Data breaches have hit consumers hard in the past year, and tonight the IRS is issuing a new warning about tax fraud. As the tax filing deadline nears, thieves are working hard to obtain and use your personal information to collect large refunds in your name. The Detroit Criminal Investigation Unit sat down with the defenders to highlight real-life local cases and what we can learn from them. Kevin Dietz has the story. You know the saying, don't mess with the IRS. As the tax deadline quickly approaches, federal officials are warning us of top tax scams in Metro Detroit and what you can do to protect yourself. At the top of the list, identity theft. It's been a huge problem. 20% of all investigations locally. Mr. Uh, Abdul Rahman and his uh, recruited a couple friends and, and some associates of his. Uh, and what they were doing was they established a tax preparation business. Uh, they opened up bank accounts and filed fraudulent returns to the tune of about $600,000. He's now doing 18 months in prison. The feds have been aggressively busting crime rings who steal and use your social security numbers. And it's working. This year locally, the IRS is reporting a 50% drop. Another great case that we did here was the, the Sydney Dahl case and the Angela Avery. Uh, these two were roommates. Um, they conspired to file about 127 false tax returns with the IRS. They stole half a million dollars before being busted. As the ringleader, Dahl was sentenced to 30 months. Here's the warning signs you need to look for. More than one tax return filed with your social security number. You owe more than expected or collection action has been taken. And records show income for an employer for which you never worked. Another problem, when the person doing your taxes commits fraud. So you're not just going to randomly pick somebody off the street to be your doctor. So you should protect your, your, your identifying information, your tax information, when you're picking a, a tax return preparer. Remember, paid preparers are required to sign returns. Never sign a blank return or one completed in pencil. And you are legally responsible for all the information on that tax return. It's also a crime to falsify income. Locally, Duran Mushu and several of his relatives were busted for it. They went out and they opened up uh, P.O. boxes and filed false uh, trust returns with fictitious income um, solely so that they could generate false refunds. They filed 22 returns which claimed $1.4 million in false refunds. Mashu is now doing nine and a half years in federal prison. Finally, phishing scams, where phony emails entice you to give up personal information. Don't take the bait. Cyber thieves may also call, pretending to be an IRS agent, insisting a refund was mistakenly paid to you and you need to return it. The twist is they'll ask for payment in either gift cards or they'll direct them to send the payment to one of the criminal's uh, bank accounts. So one thing that's important to know is if one, IRS is never call you, is not going to call you and demand payment. To protect yourself? Ask the person on the other uh, end of the call to provide you with their employee identification number. And never, ever be bullied into sending money. We're not going to threaten you with arrest and, and tell you that if you don't send us payment, that we're going to come out and arrest you. The IRS says their criminal investigation unit is on the job here in Metro Detroit, and they need all of us to be on high alert, too, to prevent tax fraud. Kevin Dietz, Defenders. All right, Kevin, and to see the IRS 2018 Dirty Dozen list of top tax scams, go to our Defenders page at clickondetroit.com. Yeah, that's a big one.